Welcome back. This is Dr. Glenn. Fabulous to be here with you, sharing the space. I can feel you seeing the space around you, appreciating the process of <sighs> occupying your vision, being grateful to receive and own that experience of peripheral awareness. The fourth level is a crucial one. They're all crucial. We get into the mind thinking. This is really where we generate meaning. So even if we're not judging things, they do have meaning to us. And we judge them in order to gauge the meaning and, and, and act accordingly, you know, to preemptively act. And we can get into challenges there. It's, it's a natural function. Of course we're going to do it. But when we do it by habit, we stop seeing. We start efforting to focus. We start getting blurry vision and all that. So we've worked through the focus and the blur. And, and, and perhaps you're even seeing changes in clarity by not trying to see clearly. It's the, you know, the catch-22. The harder you try to see, the less you see. But now the mind is so important. The meaning that we get out of vision, of course, is, is what makes it meaningful. That, that when we see, say, it's a letter or a word or a symbol, well, it has no meaning in itself. It's just ink on paper. It's black and white. It's contrast. It's light and dark. But yet, we assign meaning to that. We communicate with each other through that. We have written words. We have you know, whole books and libraries of meaning stored visually as this symbolic representation. So it's a fabulous system that, that uh, we use to go into the symbolic realm of, of thinking. We can also think concretely uh, in terms of the physical world and our bodies and how we interact. And so uh, this is like our, it's like our digestive system for vision. When we've, we've taken in the whole space and, and our eyes will be drawn to some central focus, detail, attention. You know, it could be that, that red animal. Well, red is an alert color and it draws our eyes. And, and, and most of those red animals are, are poisonous. They, or it's red fire and it draws our attention. Again, it's a danger sign. Uh, it has meaning to us. And we, so we extract and digest that meaning. It just as color, like the color red, uh, is produced in the world by certain chemistry. It's the same chemistry that produces color that also produces taste and smell. It's, uh, it's phenolic rings. The, we're talking the Lord of the Rings here. The, the ring structures in, in organic molecules are seats of the spirit minerals in our model, in the, the clinical theory of everything. So when we, we see that color, we're seeing the seat of a certain spirit in that creature or in that fire. We're seeing, uh, we're tasting a certain relationship, a certain meaning, a certain flavor in that food that's often being carried by these ring structures in the food, the, the polyphenols, the bioflavonoids, things like that, uh, the phenolics. So uh, this is how we, we break down what we see so that it's no longer a single unified peripheral awareness, but it's things. We digest it to, oh, well, there's that uh, bamboo curtain, the screen behind me. There's, there's the books over here, over here. There's the, the wood over in this area, and, and the color of my shirt, and, and then all the hair. <laughs> so we're giving different names, meaning, association. There's memories associated with those. And when we think, we think also in sequence, like words in language. We put, like I'm speaking now, one word after another, one thought, one concept, one image after another. And so we sequence our thinking. Uh, that's like we digest our food 
and break down the proteins into amino acids, but then we think, our body's thinking, our body consciousness at a biological level builds those back up into our own body structure, our own structural enzyme, uh, structural proteins, uh, collagen and microtubules and hyaluronic acid and all these that create the structure and, and the enzymes that do the work and the, uh, you know, all, the, all these different structures that make up the functionality of structure and function in, in, in and around the cell. So that's what we do with language in the informational realm. And so we're, uh, not just language, but thinking, visual thinking included, and that's really primary. Uh, so we want to be aware of, beware of your thinking. Are you thinking in images and pictures, visually thinking? And we'll get into that more with visualization and specifically developing that at another couple levels. Uh, are you thinking in words? Is there an earworm, a song? playing in your head. Uh, we'll get into the sound a little bit more in the next level. Uh, <clears throat> but being aware of the thought process, it's part of the waveform that's happening simultaneously in this perceptual space. Not only the visual space of external, the external world as we project it and experience it, the internal world of thoughts, and of emotions rather, and feelings, the surface interface of, of the skin, of touch and vibration, um, the, the thought, the thought process, very important. Because if our thought process tightens down and we're worrying about something, how much you think the peripheral vision is going to stay open? Not very much. All right, so don't worry. Remember to breathe and see. And if you worry, if you're worrying about worrying, what happens? You worry more because now you're feeling worry and you're worrying about that it's going to increase and it will. So break that cycle, start back at level one when you need to, when there's a stressful moment, breathe and see, go to the feeling and the heart, centering awareness of all of the emotions, that, it's not just the worry, but what about the sadness? You should worry about, you should worry about the sadness of what you're losing when you're worrying, you're losing your peripheral vision. Oh, to lose the world, is it worth it to worry? No. It's not. Worry doesn't help. But it's a clue. And so if you can notice it, be aware of your thinking, aware of your thought process, and, and always bring it back to the heart, bring it back to the feeling, bring it back to the vision, bring it back to the, the breath. These things will put you back on track where all of you is working, not just part, working against the rest. Okay. <laughs>